Hey guys, what's up? The Gaming Bunny here, and uh, if I scroll down a bit, you guys can see that I haven't done any of the Week 7 challenges, but I'll explain in a minute. But uh, first of all, I just want to remind you guys, uh, every two weeks you have to re-enter uh, Supported Creator Code, and my Supported Creator Code is ARYA49, all one word. It can be uh, uppercase or lowercase, doesn't really matter. If you look at the official list of... Um, approved traders i'm number 400 on the list i do believe but uh yeah just if you guys want to support me um it doesn't cost anything extra just type go to the item shop press x uh or square or whatever keybind you have if you play on pc and enter in a r y a 49 click accept and then uh, yeah on the top right corner it'll see it'll say creator supported uh a r y a 49 and um, if but if you guys buy anything and you want to tweet it to me, my Twitter is um, at the gaming underscore bunny, the gaming underscore bunny on Twitter. Um, and then yeah, once you do that, uh, I might follow you, retweet or anything like that, or maybe even play with you. But um, yeah, so back to the main topic. I haven't done any of these challenges, and usually I make uh, the video after the challenges, but I have an explanation. So I wasn't even gonna make a video today because I'm extremely busy and I have a lot going on tomorrow. Um. And I didn't want to post it tomorrow because the football skin video is going to go up tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, the first challenge is to search seven ammo boxes in a single match. Extremely easy if you learn Snobby Shorter says uh, you can get seven ammo boxes in the first two or three houses. Um, yeah, the next challenge is to deal 500 headshot damage to opponents. Easy if you play one of the uh, LTMs going on right now. What are they? Uh, Blitz and Team Terror. I'd say do it in Team Terror. Um, you can go up or land any populated place, try and get a gun before someone and charge them, uh, to try and get headshots. Next, uh, challenge, stage one, is to deal damage, deal 300 damage to opponents in a single match. Extremely easy, um, if you kill someone who has full shield, that's already 200 damage right there. No, and 300, actually, because, uh, BMing. So, if you kill one person, you literally have that done, which is... Pretty much self-explanatory. Next two stages are 400 damage, 500 damage. Once again, just see someone go for them, try and do as much damage as possible in BM and stuff to get your damage done. Next challenge is to, um, the first stage to destroy 50 trees. Easy, there's trees everywhere, you have a pickaxe. Next one is to destroy 25 rocks. Once again, rocks everywhere. Next one is to destroy 10 cars, and there's cars in a lot of the, uh, name locations. Um, and there's some just kind of ran away around the place. Next one is to skydive through 20 floating rings. As soon as you jump out of the battle bus and look down, you'll see a bunch of rings just everywhere. Just fly through it um, as much as possible and just repeat the process until you've done it for 20 different rings. Um, next challenge is to consume 5 apples. There's apples. Uh, yeah, if you want to lose health, you might just want to take some fall damage real quick. There's apples a lot on the right side of the map, like at Fatal Fields, around there and stuff. Um, even Risky Reels has quite a bunch of apples near there. Next challenge, or er, the next stage, sorry, is to gain 60 health with bandages. Once again, just, um, do a little bit of fall damage. Bandages are easy to find. You might find them slowly, typically, um, also maybe in chests or in vending machines. Pretty simple. Even if they're in vending machines, they'll only cost, like, 75, uh, materials. Um, and you have to just take five bandages. Pretty self-explanatory. Next one is to gain 100 health with medkit, which literally is just take a medkit. <laughs> uh... Oh no, um, you obviously can't have 0 HP, so the most you'd be able to do is 99 in a life, so you want to play duos or, someone and, or something and have get a couple medkits, have someone revive you and do it, and then uh, take the medkit again, something like that to do that challenge. Next one is to gain 50 health with a slurp. Slurp juice um, prioritizes your health first, so just take a bunch of all damage and then drink slurp juice. They can be found once again, floor loot, and chest, vending machines. Um, and the final challenge is to eliminate opponents in Pleasant Park, and it's only three, which is also, um, once again, not that hard because a lot of people land at, uh, Pleasant Park, especially, uh, if there's a challenge there. And, um, there is a hidden battle star after completing the week seven challenges, and you know that, you guys know that little boat, um, so basically over at Loot Lake, when, like, there was a piece of ground just from, like, the comet or something. There was a little boat next to it, but now it's, like, the boat's right next to an island. It has two chests on it. I believe it's on the right side of Leaky Lake. There's, um, a little island on the- and there has two chests on it, and then there's a boat. And on top of that boat, um, is the Hidden Battle Star. So if that's, uh, sorry if that's not descriptive enough. Uh, I think most of you guys will, will get it, um, that little boat on the right side. It's in the water, and it's quite a small boat. There's a chest on it. There's possible chests on it as well. So, yeah. Um, that's basically the, 
that's basically the week seven challenge tips. Uh, as you guys know, once you do that, you get a loading screen. I actually haven't seen. We actually do you get a loading screen? Okay, you do get a loading screen, which I haven't seen yet. So I guess you guys will just see it once you complete uh, all the challenges using my tips. And you, of course, you get the new hunting party skin, which is called Aim, and the back bling is called Elam, I believe. I don't have that yet, but uh, yeah. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one, and peace.